So what are over 10,000 people a day signing up for? It's new vector databases that serve as the memory of GPT applications. We need these databases because much of the information we have, we take and represent it in a numerical way, often called an embedding or a vector. Once we get all those vectors, we want to then be able to compare and find, for example, similar concepts to each other. If you're working with a small amount of embeddings, you can use NumPy or a library like Face to hold the amount of information you want in memory and be able to do quick comparisons. As the amount of data starts scaling up and you want to start thinking about how you're going to store and update that, this is where a vector database comes into play. For most people, I recommend starting with Pinecone. It's quick and easy to get up and running with it. If you want an open source solution, there are a number of others like VBA. You're gonna see a lot of growth in these databases as we're trying to store unstructured information, as well as work with all the outputs of these large language models.